In this video we are making a cute little birdie like this. Hi, thanks for stopping by. This is Teresa from Semidolls. You can find all my patterns on my website. The link is down below in the video description. And now let's get started. The materials are listed here but you can also have another look at them in the PDF file. We start by ironing the interfacing to the back of the fabric of the wings, tail feathers and beak. Then we put two tail feather pieces right sides together each and sew all the way around, leaving them open at the bottom. Next we put the wing and beak pieces right sides together and sew the beak along the curved edge, leaving the straighter edge open and for the wings we leave a turning hole at the bottom of each wing. We turn the wings inside out and press. and close the turning hole by hand. We turn the beak inside out and fold over the open edges and press them into place.
We also turn the tail feathers inside out and press them. Next we put the three tail feathers on top of each other and baste them together along the bottom edge. Then we put two of the head pieces right sides together each and sew along one edge. Now we place these two pieces on top of each other, right sides facing, and sew them together along the outer edge. And we turn the fabric inside out. Next we pin and sew the belly patch to one of the body pieces. Now we pin and sew the other body piece to the other edge of the belly patch.
Then we decide which way we want to attach the tail feathers. In this example I made it so the longest feather would be at the back and I also made another bird with the longest feather at the front. I think I prefer it when the longest feather is at the front. Next we pin the tail feathers into the body with the tip of the feathers facing downwards while the bottom aligns with the raw edge of the body piece. We also pin along the top edge of the body. We sew along the top edge of the body and turn the fabric inside out. Then we stuff the body of the birdie. And now we stuff the head and the beak. Next we position the beak where we want it on the head and sew it to the head with a ladder stitch. Then we sew a pair of black buttons to the head for the eyes. If the bird is intended for a child that still mouths their toys, it would be good to embroider the eyes instead. I also attached a little bow to the head of the bird. If you want to make your own little bow, I'm going to link a tutorial down below in the video description. Now we close the bottom of the head and the top of the body.
Then we sew the head to the top of the body with a ladder stitch. For the last step, we pin and sew the wings to the side of the body of the bird. And then our little birdie is done. I also made another one in a different color selection and I changed the shape of the beak a little bit as you can see. So the pink beak looks a bit different and that's the way you are going to receive the pattern. The link to the pattern is down below in the video description. Thank you so much for watching and for sewing with me. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you want to support me, you can purchase my patterns on my website. The link is down below in the video description. See you next time. Bye!